Ladies and gentlemen, when we think of the internet, most of us imagine the bright and familiar world of Google, YouTube, Facebook, and the countless websites we use every single day. But the truth is, what we see on the surface is only a tiny fraction of the whole. Beneath that surface lies something far more mysterious, secretive, and often misunderstood. This hidden realm is called the dark web. The dark web is not like the internet we know. It cannot be accessed with ordinary browsers. It requires special tools, such as the Tor browser, which hide identities and allow complete anonymity. And this anonymity is what makes the dark web both powerful and dangerous. On one side, the dark web has earned the reputation as a hub of illegal activities. It is where black markets exist, where drugs, weapons, stolen identities, and hacking services are traded. This is the shadowy image most people know, and it is true. But it is not the full story. Because on the other side, the dark web also serves a very different purpose. In countries where governments silence voices, where speaking the truth can mean punishment, the dark web becomes a safe space. Journalists, activists, and whistleblowers use it to communicate, to share truth, and to protect their identities. In this way, it can be a shield for freedom, even in the darkest corners of the world. So the dark web is not just a world of crime, nor just a sanctuary for truth. It is both. It reflects the extremes of human behavior, the worst of exploitation, but also the courage of resistance. And why does this matter to us? Because it reminds us that the internet is far bigger than what we see every day. It teaches us that our personal data, our privacy, and our digital safety are fragile. The dark web is a warning and a lesson, to be aware, to be careful, and to value the security of our digital lives. The dark web is like a shadow. It exists because there is light. It is a reminder that with every tool humanity creates, there will always be both good and evil. What matters is how we choose to use it, and how prepared we are to face it. Thank you.